Have you been taking too much damage? Unsure what's the best way to patch up those wounds? Well, it's a good thing you're here. Today's video is all about health and how you can go about recovering it. First up, I'd like to point out that there are a million and one ways to restore your HP, some easier than others. I'll be covering some of the best methods in terms of ease and cost. One of the most basic ways you can heal yourself early on is by killing butterflies. Butterflies have a guaranteed chance to drop butterfly wings, which heal you for 8 HP. They also have a 2% chance to drop butter, which heals you for 40 HP. Next, there are spider glands and mosquito sacs. Both of these items heal 8 HP and are fairly common drops from their respective enemy. These items can stack and will never spoil, meaning they're easily amassed and saved for later. If you happen to save your spider glands and unlock yourself the healing salve recipe, they can be converted into an item that heals you for 20 HP. Some rocks, ash, and a spider gland is a small price to pay for that much health. Happen to have Glomer close by? Well, this majestic goober will periodically drop Glomer goop that, when consumed, heals you for a total of 40 HP. It's pretty easy to obtain as time goes on, but it does come with a trade-off. You'll lose 50 sanity upon consumption, so be mindful. Koalophants are an excellent option if you're in need of some food and health. Upon the death of a koalophant, you'll get 8 meat and a koalophant trunk. Eating the koalophant trunk raw heals for 30 HP, but if you cook it first, you'll get 40 HP. Tons of health and food certainly make this a solid choice. Similar to mosquito sacs, if you happen to be playing shipwrecked, poison mosquitoes drop the yellow mosquito sac that when used heals for a total of 20 HP. Definitely not a bad item to have on hand. Continuing with the shipwreck theme, jellyfish should not be underestimated. If you kill a jellyfish wearing an item that prevents you from taking shock damage, such as a snake skin hat or umbrella, you'll receive no damage and be left with a dead jellyfish. When consumed, not only do you get food, but you also heal 10 HP, an amazing option for the nomad player. Mushrooms are a powerful resource when used correctly. Raw blue caps heal 20 HP when consumed and are easily acquired during the night. They'll cost 15 sanity to consume, but that's nothing when you factor in how easy sanity is to restore. Cactus is another elegant solution to many problems in Don't Starve. During summer, cactus will bloom allowing you to harvest it for both cactus flesh and a cactus flower. You can wear armor to reduce the damage taken when harvesting if you desire. The cooked flesh provides 15 sanity, but the flower when consumed will heal you for 8 HP. With how frequently it respawns, this is certainly useful knowledge. Let's move on to some things that are obtained via crafting. Jerky is insanely useful. With a drying rack, you can convert big and small meats into jerky and small jerky, respectively. Jerky will net you 20 HP, and small jerky will give you 8 HP. As an item that lasts long, heals, and provides sanity, jerky is up there in the list of things to have available. Honey poultice are useful to have if you have access to something like a reed trap and have bee boxes made. Using papyrus and honey to create it, you'll be able to heal 30 HP every time you use one. Unlike the honey used to make this, honey poultices never expire. Alternatively, you could also eat your honey instead for 3 HP. Seeing as honey is easily obtained and lasts a very long time, this is a good option even as a primary food source. The Crock-Pot. Oh, the Crock-Pot. Arguably one of the most beneficial things you can have if you're in need of some health. There are an absurd amount of recipes that you have access to that provide some impressive health values. For some brief highlights, I've made a video on both Reign of Giants and Shipwreck recipes if you're interested in seeing those videos, which I've linked in the description below. I'll also list some recipes here with their associated health values. Exclusive to DST and a reward for killing Queen Bee, Jelly Beans will heal you 122 HP, but it takes 2 minutes to receive the full amount healed. This is a slow, over time heal. Fresh Fruit Crepes, Lobster Bisque, Surf and Turf, Lobster Dinner, Bisque, and Waffles all heal you for a total of 60 HP. Dragon Pie, Flower Salad, Shark Fin Soup, Fish Dicks, Pierogi, and Seafood Gumbo all heal you for a total of 40 HP. Trail Mix and Honey Ham heal you for a total of 30 HP. Fish Tacos, California Rolls, Butter Muffins, Guacamole, Fruit Medley, Froggle Bunwitches, Honey Nuggets, jelly o Pops, Turkey Dinners, Unagi, Ceviche, Bacon and Eggs, Banana Pops, Muscle Bouillabaisse, Spicy Chili, 
and Sweet Potato Souffle all heal you for a total of 20 HP. There are a few other recipes that provide some HP values, but they're mostly negligible. I realize this is a lot of information to take in, so I've highlighted some of the recipes that I think are a little more useful from a practical sense, meaning the ingredients are easier to get and they're convenient dishes to make. Now, let's compare those awesome recipes to some of the most basic foodstuffs and just make it that much more clear why the crock pot is useful. Flowers, cooked berries, cooked morsels, cooked drumsticks, cooked frog legs, and cooked seeds are all only going to heal you for 1 HP. Cooked carrots, cooked juicy berries, cooked meat, cooked bananas, and raw watermelon only heal for 3 HP. There are obviously many other items available to eat, but hopefully this further highlights why the crock pot is so useful. There are some other oddball things out there as alternative ways to heal, but they're generally not as reliant as the methods I've previously mentioned. I'll talk about a few of them. Mandrake soup is one such thing. It will heal you for 100 HP, but that's never something I'd suggest you use since that's a waste of a mandrake. You'd be losing out on a pan flute if you did that. WX players can also gain 100 HP when you're struck by lightning, which can be useful if you're trying to stay crazy and farm nightmare fuel, since it removes 33 sanity and keeps you healed from any potential damage you may be taking. Gears can also be consumed to increase your HP maximum or simply heal you for 20 HP. Wigfred players also have the luxury of healing through combat. Both sanity and health will be gained when an enemy is defeated, and DST should receive HP and sanity as damage is done, but regardless, there is a self-healing aspect to her that shouldn't be overlooked if health is desperately needed. Sleeping is something that I'm personally not a fan of as it will cost you 75 hunger and generally waste a bit of time that you could be out doing other things, but your mileage may vary. A tent will heal you for 60 HP and a fur roll will heal you for 30. When doing this, just remember you're passing some time and you're going to wake up hungry. Be sure to have some food close by when you wake up. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. As always, I hope you found the video useful and entertaining, while maybe even learning something new. If you enjoyed the video, I'd very much appreciate it if you hit the like button, it helps me out extremely. If you have anything you'd like to add, or any ideas for upcoming tutorials, please let me know those ideas in the comments below. I'm always using feedback when it comes to making these videos. If you're interested in some awesome new shirts, stickers, or mugs, I do have a wonderful merch store available thanks to my amazing artist Castar. I've linked it in the description. Thank you everyone for the insane support you show me, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.